Oh god. Oh god. You don't see me? Why did I think hiding under a rock would be good against a crab? They're built for doing that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Arc Aberration video. This is the new DLC, and I am UTC. Today we are taking a look at more spawn points. Last video, we took a look at the six easiest spawn points. We started at each one, and we made our way on foot to a nearby base building location. We covered charge stations, we found small caves for solo players, and we found big areas for massive community builds, and we explored the map in the process. Today we are doing the same thing, but with the six most difficult spawn locations, starting here with the Lower Mushroom Forest. So this is the Lower Mushroom Forest spawn point, and these are our starting coordinates. Alright guys, so... So you may have noticed there was no ad at the beginning of the video and you may have seen a thing that said paid product placement. That is because this video is sponsored by G Portal servers. We will be talking more about them, but there is a link in the description for those guys. All right, so one thing I will warn you about this spawn point, the lower mushroom forest, it's got medium difficulty and it is massively spread out, massively. Uh, so we need to find our way to some landmarks, something that will be communal that can help us find each other because spawning at this, this location several times has resulted in me dying several times. But this is a beneficial spawn point, I'll tell you guys. This is kind of where we want to be. Uh, so there are double waterfalls up there. And if I'm not mistaken, the best direction for us to go is through here, away from the double waterfalls. And we are once again, like last episode, going to start by finding a, a place to build with some charge stations. Now, uh, I am going to struggle to find my way there, so I will get you guys to hang with me. Uh, that way you will not get lost. I joked last video, aberration needs a new GPS. Latitude, longitude, altitude. So I keep you with me. I show you how we get from A to B. That way you are not going to get lost. So this is actually the point I was looking for. There is a big zip line that goes up like that. There is a small one that goes across. You don't have to be up here. You can be down below. All right, so I'm going to stay up on these cliff edges for now and work my way around. All right, guys, so come through this valley, and I believe where we want to go is through there. Now, it's so easy to get lost. Uh, this map, oh, when you are on foot versus flying in spectator mode, it feels so much bigger on foot. So let's continue our path down here. We must have to continue eastward down this valley. All right, I think we are still on the right track. We are still on the right track. So you're going to come under these old redwood-style trees, past this little bulb dog lantern pug cutie, and towards those giant crabs, good lord. So the charge stations, guys, are very important, and I'm going to show you that there are two of them right near here. Oh, God, you scared me. Oh, all right, so you can see our coordinates. You can see there are giant crabs between us and our destination. And the charge station, the charge station is right up over here. So I'm staying in the trees. The trees make good fodder for dealing with crabs. and makes it difficult for the crabs to get to you. All right, so watch for glowy mushrooms. They seem to hover around these charge stations. That is charge station 1, 38.640.1. And we made it here fairly easily from the waterfalls, uh, but if depending on where you spawn in the lower mushroom forest, you may have more trouble. So that is the first of the two charge stations. I think there is a second one just around this corner. That is right. Check it out. Can you believe it? So, 39.840.5. Two charge stations very, very close to each other. One here and the other is just over this hill. You can see them from each other. So this makes a great base location. And depending on where you spawn for the lower mushroom forest, you should be able to make your way here. But knowing the spawn points, we may come back through this way later in this video. Guys, this is our first base location. I hope we have found you a cool spot to set up if you spawn in at that lower mushroom forest. And I will take a second. Shout out to G Portal servers. They give me the servers for my Patreon community, and the servers run great. They also sponsor this video directly, and they are doing that for a lot of the members of the ARC YouTuber community. 
So I'm a big fan of G Portal. Click on the link at the top of the description, give them some love, and in replacement for that, you didn't see an ad at the top of this video and you won't see one for a little bit longer still. All right, let us move on to the next spawn location. Hopefully fewer crabs at that one. Bring it, you big idiot. Yeah, I'm gonna mess you up. The spawn points are absolutely getting more difficult. Let's spawn into the fertile river and hopefully not die right away. So, this looks familiar, to me at least. Fertile River, I see. Okay, so this is exactly where we worked to make it from the last section. That is my recent death. This is the first of the two charge stations. So the Fertile River will take you right the heck to this spot that we worked our way all the way over to from Lower Mushroom Forest. Skip the line. Go to the Fertile River and work your way down to this river crossing. Nearby are two charge stations and that makes a great spot to start a base. Let's hurry up and move on to the edge. What is the edge? We are about to find out and there are four regions, all of which are hard initial spawn points. We will try to find, that is the coolest one. Let's start with edge one. It is the deepest into the unknown. Let's see what we can find out here. All right, so this is edge one. So let's get ourselves some GPS right out of the gate. And we will take a look at the map. I think we are very close to 50 on the longitude. And that is as far basically as we have been uh, in terms of east-west. So that is west. We actually need to go east in order to track down a, uh, a, a some new ground, some new territories. But let's see exactly where we spawned and what is immediately nearby to us here, guys. So, interesting. These have become quite easy to find of late. Take a look. Another charge station. I'm not going to get much closer. It's got a lot of raptors. Uh, but there is another charge station right near here. And actually, if we go... That's east. That's the danger zone. I want to point out the other charge stations, the pair, the two that are very close to each other, are actually just through here. We probably wouldn't have to go very far at all to see them. All right, this is basically where we started, guys. We need to go this way. I'm going to uh, circle around and avoid uh, raptors, and we are going to try and make it to the edge. What is the edge? Is this the, the, the furthest spawn points west and the rest you have to get to by traveling, by exploring? If so, I'm going to love that, because there's a lot of map out in this direction. I, I mean east, we're headed east. So there is another river up here. Is this a new river or is this the same river? Earthquake. I'm just going to run straight until the earthquake's over. So I just kept going straight. That is the direction we came from. And I'm beginning to figure out what the edge means. This is the edge of the spot that has sunlight. This is the edge of the spot that grows trees and looks like nature. Through here, through that cave, I think, is pure insanity. So maybe, maybe today for this Edge 1 base location, the goal is to find somewhere nearby, somewhere close enough, uh, but not too deep into the unknown. We know the unknown is in there. I might save that for the exploration series if no spawn points take us there. Instead, we are going to go this way. So you came all the way out here. Hopefully, you've got... You've got the stamina to swim across a river without getting eaten and to outrun a raptor. Outrun a raptor. You need some good foot speed. 162 does really, really good. Nothing going to catch me. And we are going to make our way up here because I saw another charge station. So hopefully you have been able to follow how and where I got to where I need to get to. But another charge station and another spot you may want to set up your base. So here we are, guys, and I'm just going to point out super quick how we got to where we were. If memory serves, we started up there, and we had to make our way east. And we just kept coming east until we got down to this river area, and then I found this, another charge station. So for Edge 1, guys, we have found a couple of cool spots, and we have seen just through there that what, what, what's after the edge, what exists through there. For now, I will save that for mystery, and we are going to head on to Edge 2. 
So Edge 2 sets you down nearby some ruins. And we actually, oh, that's a raptor. Uh, Edge 2 got us very close to a raptor. Uh, but it also got us very close to some ruins, some some of these modern sci-fi looking ruins, and another charge station. They have been so easy to find today, this time around. So we're at the edge number two. I started down there, worked my way up around to here. And we're going to make our way for that glowing screen. That should be an easy landmark for all of you to work your way towards. And you will find that right next to it is a charge station as well as several raptors, but let's get close enough to get the real GPS coordinates on it for you. Boom, 33.651, let's get out of here. All right guys, so let's move up towards these ruins. And I keep calling them ruins. I don't know what else to refer to them as. They're like sci-fi ruins. They look like they're straight out of Destiny or something like that. So I have not yet figured out how building works with them. Can you get right up to them? How close can you build? We are going to be saving that for a future video instead of trying to cram it into this one. But I tell you, if I can build in and around this screen, I am going to. You can pass through it, completely translucent, and it's a light source. It is so cool. How about that for the gate to your house? And you come in here and you're building in between these two chunks of ruin. Hell, that's a good enough base location for old UTC for now. I would build up on this plateau. If I could, I would make the most of these ruins and this cool light fixture. And there is a nearby charge station. So what more could you ask for? It's stunning here, guys. This is what we found from Edge 2. And it brings us even closer to what is beyond the edge. This is edge three what a cool spawn location dang so it's supposed to be hard it has brought us ever closer to the actual edge so the gps comes out equus here that's awesome aberrant equus i suppose they are called and we are going to get to look over this gorge into nothingness so i gotta warn you this is a dangerous area giant crabs and spinos abound I did want to show you that there is another charge station here. I, these are going to be very useful, obviously, in the game. Uh, I haven't played enough to know the whole details yet and what they're good for, but I know you want to be near them. So here is one right here, 4250. And let's finally look over the abyss. What is out here? What is beyond the edge? You guys have probably already seen it, but together on this channel, you were about to see it for the first time. Oh, it is a whole new world. So the overworld is reached by sunlight. It has oxygen. It is easily traversable. For folks like us, it's not much different from a normal arc in many of those ways. Out here, and on the absolute surface, all the rules go out the window. Things change. You need new gear, hazmat suits, all kinds of stuff. And we are not prepared to get in there. But in time, we will. The whole point of this episode is to take you from a spawn point to a building location. And I just took you to a spot where you can look over the edge of the world. Well, I think you need a building location that looks over the edge of the world. You're near this charge station, find one of these ledges and pop an adorable little log cabin here. And if you do, send me the pictures. I would love to see your designs out of place. Adorable log cabin on the edge of an insane sci-fi realm. Very cool. Cannot wait to explore that with you guys. But this has been Edge 3. Let's go and check out the final spawn point of the Aberration map. Edge 4. The Edge 4. Don't spawn here. It is very, very difficult. It may be the hardest. Lots of spots you spawn in, you will die immediately. I really don't recommend it. See that green beam? Lots of those around here. Those belong to me. I've spent lots of time at Edge 4. The other problem with it, for a video like this one, is that it is massive. Sometimes I will spawn way, way over there. Sometimes I will spawn way, way over there. It is hard to make a spawn in and walk from A to B point of view video. And because this is such a hard place to start, I don't recommend even bothering. But this whole edge is lovely. If I was bold, if I was audacious, if I did want to spawn in here to start my game, I would want a view of the abyss. And I would want it with some glowing magical mushrooms in the background. I don't think you can do a hell of a lot better than this, guys. 
So, we have spent two videos going to each and every spawn point on the Aberration map and that has got me excited to get exploring in a survival series instead of flying around the map in single player. Thank you guys for hanging with me the last couple of videos and we will be diving into a new series very very soon. So let me know in the comments what you are most excited to see. Popping up on your screen right now is my face. Click it to subscribe and then click on this playlist to check out Arc aberration and everything i have done so far with the dlc thank you so much for watching guys i'm unite the clans and i will see you in the next video